Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Ann Reardon and we've got an exciting episode for you this week. A couple of weeks ago I asked you to nominate all of your favourite YouTube channels. I've tallied up all the results and I'll make the top 10 for you today. If a channel you requested is here, make sure you head over to their channel and let them know that How to Cook That made them a cupcake. First things first, I made a batch of my perfect sponge cake recipe into the cupcakes and then topped each one with a mixture of vanilla buttercream and white chocolate ganache. All of those recipes and their videos are on this week's blog post, howtocookthat.net, and I'll put a link in the description just below this video. Starting at number 10, we have RR Cherry Pie. She has a mixture of videos all about different cute miniature things. To make her logo, roll out some white and yellow fondant and cut out a small circle from the yellow and take the circle bit out and leave the larger piece in place. Then put your white fondant over the top and flip it over. Then use a circle cutter that is one size bigger than what we just used and cut it out. So that gives you the yellow border all the way around your white circle. And then I'm using soft sugar pearls and I bought these at the supermarket and just pressing them around the edge. Then mix together some icing sugar, red colour and a tiny bit of water and use that to pipe on the RR for RR cherry pie. At number nine is Surprise Kids. You asked for it. Surprise Kids is my boys' channel. They don't really have a logo yet, but their thumbnail is a picture of one of them holding up a fin cookie that they made. So we'll use that. Cut out rectangles of white fondant and round out the corners. Then roll an oval ball of pale skin-coloured fondant and squash that into place. Roll out some blue and place it over the bottom half and then trim it to the size of the white. Then using some store-bought piping gel, add two eyes and a mouth. Number eight is Superwoman. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. Lily has a comedy channel, but a disclaimer here, some of her videos have adult themes and are not suitable for a younger audience. If you are older, then she has a super funny channel. You can check it out. She recently came to Australia for YouTube Fan Fest and did a great job on stage. To make a Superwoman logo, print it out and then cut it out. Don't throw away any of those little pieces because we're going to need them. Roll out some white fondant and rub it with a tiny bit of oil and then place your paper with the logo sized hole over the top and then add the Superwoman logo bit and then put all those tiny yellow pieces back into place. Peel off the red, that was just there to guide us where to put the yellow ones, and then take some pink edible luster dust and a dry paintbrush and dust it on over the top. Then brush all the excess dust over to one side, you can reuse that, and carefully remove the paper. Put your circle cutter over the top and cut it out. Coming in at number seven, we have an Australian YouTuber, My Cupcake Addiction. She's just had her second baby, so make sure you head over to her channel and say congratulations and let her know how to cook that made her a cupcake. To make her logo, cut out a circle of white and then a smaller circle of pink. Use your first larger cutter size to trim off the top of the pink circle and then cut out another smaller white circle. Add that onto the base and then add the pink bit on top of that. Using some melted chocolate, outline the shapes and then add those curved stripes going down towards the centre at the bottom. Take a tiny bit of red and roll it into a ball and add it on top like a cherry. Number six most requested channel, Graveyard Girl. Hey everybody, it's Bunny and welcome. I like this channel too. Bunny does a great job. It's sort of a beauty channel, but it's totally unique. She has swamp family teacups, so that's what we're going to make here. Roll a snake out of fondant and cut it off at the top and the bottom. And then run your knife around the top edge to make like an indent like the lid. Then roll a tiny snake for a straw. And take a toothpick and make a hole in the top, but don't add your straw right away. You want to leave it for about an hour so that it can dry out. Once it's dried out, you can add a tiny bit of water using a brush and then put the straw in the top of your swamp teacup. Let's break from our top 10 count here to add in a little channel. You suggested loads of small channels and they each had only one suggestion so it took a while to choose which one to do. This one is called This Charming Stuff and she makes cute charms out of polymer clay. You can follow her tutorials and just swap fondant instead of the polymer clay and use it on cakes. Her logo is a cupcake. To make it, just roll out some brown fondant into a ball and then roll it to make it narrower at one end. Squash it down flatter until you get a cupcake case shape and then use a knife to make indents all the way around the case. 
Take your green fondant and roll a long snake and then starting at the centre, swirl it around and around until you get to the top and then just twist it off to give a nice piped look. Number five is Bethany Moda. Bethany is just 18 years old and has a huge beauty channel on YouTube and even her own clothing line at Aeropostal. Until this week, she has had a cute background on her channel with a little photo and a cute camera, but she's just changed it. So too late now because I've already made her a cupcake. So never mind. Let's make the cute camera. Just roll out some black fondant, use a straw to cut out the circle and put it over the top of some brown. Use some black gel color to outline it and then cut out the camera shape. And for the photo, I just cut out a rectangle of white, put a fawn colored rectangle on top, then rolled out a teardrop of pink and split it at the top to make a heart and place that onto the photo. At number four, we have the Shaytards. A family of six who have been making daily videos for the last four years. To make the profile of Shay's face, print it out and use a knife to indent the key points onto the fondant and then use black gel color to paint it on. Shay Cal started vlogging to document his last year of being 20. Now five years on, he has millions of subscribers. His wife and his kids all have their own channels and he was a co-founder of Maker Studios, a YouTube network that recently sold to Disney. Number three is Zoella, another beauty channel. Hello everybody, today I am doing another hairstyle for you. And she has clothing hauls, hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, all of those things. Take some pink, white and green fondant and roughly twist it together and roll it out. Use your circle cutter to cut out a nice coloured piece and then take a printout of her logo, put it over the top, make an indent using a knife so you know where to pipe. Then take some melted chocolate and pipe the word Zoella onto the fondant. At number two, most requested by you was Nerdy Nummies, a channel by Rosanna Pensino. Hey guys, it's Ro, welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Where she makes nerdy baked goods each week. To make her logo, cut out a circle of cookie coloured fondant and then use some melted chocolate to pipe on some chocolate chips. Take some black fondant and roll it out super thin and place it across the cookie. Trim it to length and then take some more fondant and make the glasses shape. Ro was lucky enough to be one of the channels recently promoted in a YouTube ad campaign all over New York and the subways and everywhere. Take two balls of the black and roll them into a circle for the eyeballs and squash them into place. And then take an even smaller snake of black and put it into place for the mouth. Then roll two balls of pink and squash them into place for those rosy cheeks. Okay, let's pause the count again. You were watching my channel, so of course heaps and heaps of you said you wanted how to cook that in it. So I'm not going to count it in the top 10, but I will show you how to make it. Roll out some fondant and then place the texture mat over the top and push it down using the roller. Then just peel it off and you're left with the pattern indented into the fondant. Now for a detailed logos, you can get them printed onto icing sheets like this and you can buy a printer that's special with edible ink and you buy the special icing paper or you can just send your picture to a place online that will print it for you which is a much cheaper option. Cut it out and rub gently on the back to loosen the backing paper off it. Dampen the fondant and add the logo on top and then use a circle cutter to cut around it. And now drum roll number one most requested was of course PewDiePie. They actually like me. Yeah, bro fist. So to make the bro fist, print out the logo, cut around it in black fondant, roll a snake of blue and use that to make the thumb shape and then the kind of M shape as well. Interestingly, he's not actually the most subscribed YouTube channel. YouTube itself has five channels and they all collate top videos in different categories, but he's the number one YouTuber. I have to add a disclaimer here too because his videos contain language and some gaming content that is not suitable for children. Add it to the black and then use your knife to squash it into shape. Place the black onto the white and cut it out. Roll a circle of blue and place the bro fist on top. Add your cupcake toppers onto your cupcakes and then you can serve them on a cupcake stand. When you check out the channels, make sure you let them know that How To Cook That made them a cupcake. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Do so. There's a new cake, chocolate or dessert video every week. Add all your requests below. Check out the channel here. Last week's jelly bean recipe video is here and my website is here. Have an awesome week and I'll see you on Friday.